So this video is in uh, tribute to a good friend of mine who killed himself a few days ago and um, it also applies to you. <laughs> it's, it's a good video. Um, and what I want to talk about is using, listening to time, listening to the signals of time. So I told you before that because of my extreme nature, when I have a chance to do something, I always ask myself if it's something that I'll do every single day, would it be a good thing or a bad thing? So there's no such thing as, you know, stuff in moderation. It's either good or it's bad. <laughs> so I um, want you to look at the people in your life right now. And we'll, again, we'll use my friend as an example. Uh, this is a guy who had a known history of doing a lot of drugs and talking a lot about suicide. Jokingly, but, um, but talking about it. So, if you take this kind of behavior, like somebody who talks a lot about this sort of topic and, you know... <laughs> says oh I'm gonna kill myself and you know does drugs occasionally if you multiply this behavior by time you know multiply it by a year five years ten years where do you think that person is gonna end up like do you think it's gonna be a good ending or do you think it might be a really really bad ending now take somebody who's doing shit properly take somebody who works out every day, you know, reads every day, meditates every day, basically does the good habits every day. He might not look like that much, like that guy, he might not look like, oh, okay, he's just doing this, yeah, so what, it doesn't really matter, you know, who cares. But if you really multiply it by time, like let's say that guy does it for like five years, ten years, do you still think this guy is going to be like, oh, you know, he's just uh, working out, you know, he's just this guy who works out, or do you think he might get some <laughs> serious advantage? <clears throat> so basically time multiplies what you focus on. If you focus on negative habits and you multiply it by time, you get really, really bad results. Most people are at neutral. Most people are not too angry, but they're not too happy. They're not going after what they want but they're not suffering so they just get multiplied a lot like a lot of normal and the reason it's uh it's so uh rare to find some you know old person who's like really really happy is simply because it's so easy you know it's easier to be negative and if you just multiply it by 60 years of course you're going to be fucking negative but if you take the good behaviors again stuff that seems small like reading books, meditating, working on your business, investing in yourself, things that make you look funny right now, after enough time, they're gonna become massive. So the guy who reads a bit of books here and there, every, every day, every week, you know, in a couple of years, he's gonna be a powerhouse of knowledge and, and just know how to, you know, do amazing shit. Uh, the guy who meditates, where everybody's like, oh, he's this freak, he meditates, what the fuck? You know, try to levitate or something. That guy in a couple of years is going to be the most chill guy in the room, like present to the moment, like the boss. And uh, again, negative behavior is the same. Somebody who complains, that's like a habit. You let him do that for a couple of years, you're going to get a very bitter, angry complainer when he's older, in five years, 10 years, 20 years. So, Always listen to time. Always listen to what time says about your activities. Multiply every behavior you do by a thousand. Imagine you do this activity every single day for 20 years, whether it's smoking weed, reading, working out. Multiply it by, again, daily for 20 years. That's, you know, that's like 5,000 times or something. And what do you think the effect is going to be? What are the associations? Like when you, when you do weed, is it just, you know, the high or do you actually get munchies after that and also overeat? 
maybe after that you also do another type of drug. So it's not just the the results of the behavior, it's also the associations. Like what does this behavior also cause? And um, I guess the mistake I made was, um, you know, of course this guy, this friend of mine, I didn't think about him for a year or two. I think I only saw him once by accident. But um, I mean, knowing what I know today, it's pretty easy to realize that it was inevitable because it's building more and more and more momentum. And this was a guy that wasn't even sad. <laughs> like he had bouts of depression, but he was like this super, like the funniest guy in the room, most expressive, funny guy in the room. But just because he dabbled with ideas of drugs and suicide, again, time makes this shit grow. So apparently, you know, he's been dabbling in this since age 16 uh, when we were young. And now he's about 23, 24. So apparently seven, eight years was uh, enough. But, you know, if that wouldn't have gotten him, probably you know, 10 years would have been enough, 12 years, 15 years, 20 years. It doesn't matter. Would have had a bad ending anyway. So start, start listening to time, okay? Listen to time because anything that you multiply will tell you the truth. And when you look at positive and negative and neutral habits in this extreme mindset of let's look deep into the future, what happens if I do this every day? The answer will be pretty clear. Uh, it won't be hard to ask yourself, is this a good decision or a bad decision? So the next time you're gonna make a choice to work out, you know that it's not just the choice to work out, it's your choice to be a healthy person with an amazing body and, uh, and a great lifestyle. Because if you multiply fitness by 20 years every day, that's what you get. Or if you try, you don't wanna make that choice to smoke that weed, you know, smoke that joint and you're like oh you know it's just a joint but what if I told you that this joint is also a track attached with a 20-year contract where if you just keep doing this there's a you know 1 in 20 percent chance that you'll turn into a drag addict or fuck up your life what if every time you ate a cheeseburger you had to you would get a heart attack or what if every time you ate a cheeseburger, there was a one in a hundred chance that we, you would get a heart attack? Would the decision still be the same? But the funny thing is that that's the way it is. Because if you eat one heart, one cheeseburger, you're going to eat two and then three and then four. You know, not necessarily once, but you're going to keep eating. 10, 20 years later, you know, you have such high cholesterol, your arteries are clogged, you get a heart attack. And you ask yourself, why? And um, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry for the low energy. I'm sorry for the lack of clarity. I'm just a bit sad. But I um, hope this concept makes a lot of sense. Realize that every good decision is tied with amazing, amazing things. If you just persist with it, realize that every bad decision is tied with horrible, life-destroying results if you stick with it. And realize that people like me and maybe you who are obsessive, you know, who get obsessed about things, uh, we tend to exaggerate and overdo things at random. So any activity that you have in your life that's negative, uh, there's a very high likelihood that you're gonna kind of do it you know, too much, uh, which is gonna fuck you up. So thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, sorry for the lack of energy. It's gonna get better tomorrow, probably, maybe, maybe in two days, but maybe tomorrow evening um thanks for watching the video and let me know how it helps you you know where it affected you because this is wow like, this is a deep topic and again don't just do this for yourself do this for other people like the same question like okay what happens if i do this every day for 20 years what happens if i do that every day for 20 years start asking that about people you care about you know what happens if my mom smokes a cigar cigarettes every day for 20 years what happens if my best friend 
keeps uh, you know being depressed over everything every day for 20 years it's gonna reveal some shocking conclusions anyway if you're not subscribed please subscribe um, if you're interested in coaching definitely contact me um, I'd be more than happy to help you and um, yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.